The, uh, the news just gets more bizarre and bizarre from here, my friend. Police ban illegal language. Wars on The war on words. Freedom of speech and sensitive phrases spark public warning. This is from Chelsea Schilling. She's a commentary editor, commentary editor and staff writer for WND. An editor of Jerome Corsi's Red Alert and a proud U.S. Army veteran. She had... She has also worked as a news producer at USA Radio Network and as a news reporter for the Sacramento Union. Uh, so she likes to write good articles, and she does. A public university in Maryland is, spe is spending thousands of dollars on a diversity campaign targeted at students to stop them from using insensitive phrases such as illegal aliens. That's so retarded and no homo. The University of Maryland, or UMD, has spent 15000 just this year on its inclusive language campaign, CampusReform.org reports. The following poster tells students to consider using the term illegal alien and the opt instead of undocumented immigrants and undocumented citizens. Those illegal immigrants, or no, those illegal aliens, would you say that if you knew I am an undocumented citizen? Yet another entry warns students against stating that another person looks like a terrorist because the phrase may offend people who are of Arab descent, Muslim, and people who uh, phenotypically look like the stereotype of a terrorist. He looks like a terrorist. You see how they try to acclimate you? The mainstream media wants you to be a, a stereotypical sheep. They want you to not, to not really look at a person for their character, but judge them on the outside. Do you look like a thug? Do you look like... You see, that's why there's so many... Um, what I like to say, it's uh, insecure people out there. It's like, oh, because I'm a skateboarder, I, I used to play hardcore music and I've been signed. And not that I'm bragging, but I ha I've had a pretty pretty successful life when it comes to the things that I that God has put in my heart to dream about. I've actually had a lot of success. But since I, you know, I'm in a culture where I wear, I like to wear nicely fit Levi pants. I, I always see the I always see the insecure guy get really fucking. I mean excuse my language, he gets really uncomfortable around me. You see what I mean? They want to make you stereotypically ignorant to all types of culture and to character. They don't want you judging by people's character. They want you to be divided so that they can conquer you, my friend. They want you to be stupid, and they want you to hate everybody just for being different. Don't you know that all of us are different? None of us are the same. If you want to judge people for, like, if you want to start your own little clique, because you're clicky and you covet your friends, um, you want to you wanna pick a whole bunch of people like you, a bunch of insecure, tough guys that bow their chest out and actually don't even ever lift a weight in your entire life. Um, this goes on. Uh, that's so gay, no homo. There's, I mean, this is garbage. For a uh, school to be putting money into a program to, uh, to pretty much get you to, to talk in a certain way, to not say certain things. Um, notice how they, they don't want you to say anything offensive toward gays or Muslims or whatever, but, but when it comes to Christians, oh, 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 we, oh I, I bet you they would wish that we would just start lining up Christians and just executing them left and right. The government would just love it, my friend. They would love it. So um, if you haven't really been paying attention that that's what the all with, with everything is going on for you, you know it's targeted at. It's targeted at principle, morality. It's targeted at... Uh, you know what the, I mean it's not hard to look back at US history and see how this country was founded my friend and the way that it's, it was maintained was through those principles if you lose those principles you get a tyrannical government that takes you over through divide and conquer fraud fiat derivatives Ponzi schemes and you're no you're none the wiser because you're living in a matrix where they make you a consumerist Worshipping celebrities, worshipping uniforms, uh, giving into whatever the, 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 the dinosaur corporate horror media wants you to believe. So, um, let's see. This is Justin, breaking news from WND. U.S. No exceptions. Dems going for total gun grabs. State lawmakers pressing legislation over objections of firearms groups. This is coming from Fox News. 
Illinois Senate Democrats advanced legislation late Wednesday to restrict semi-automatic weapons and high-capacity magazines, pressing forward with new gun control measures in the waning days of the season over the objections of firearm groups. Amid the developments, the Illinois State Rifle Association issued an urgent alert to its members warning that them that Democratic legislators were trying to push through last-minute anti-gun legislation. There would be no exemptions and no grandfathering, the group stated in its alert. You would have a very short window to turn in your gun, guns to the state police and avoid prosecution. Um, just because, you know, like John and, and all these other, you know, um, apostles went to jail, did that make them bad people? No. I mean, if you're paying attention, you know we don't live in a perfect world. And even if you do the right thing, you end up in jail. That's why when I was going to public school, I was like, why is everyone so angry at me? I'm only defending myself. I'm only speaking out my my mind, you know. But no, they, the public school isn't there for you to express critical thinking. They want to make you slaves. They want to make you used to being a prisoner. So, I mean, if you pay attention, then you know that that's just the way it is. This is from Fox News. I don't really read too much news from Fox, but this is a pretty important one. Um, Illinois Senate Democrats advanced legislation late Wednesday to restrict semi-automatics. I read that. There would be no exemptions and no grandfather I read that. A Senate committee approved two bills, no dealing with the weapons and the other with magazines. Democratic supporters could face a tough sell in the full Senate. Um, you know, as much as this is tyranny, it has nothing to do with me because I live in California. But just like the Jews in Nazi Germany, you know, they came for, the, you know, they're... <laughs> See, that's how it works. That's how you get took over. You see what I mean? They start picking people out from the group, but the people who don't stand up for what's right are going to be left to be picked off as well. So, um, if you don't want to get prosecuted for exercising your Second Amendment, then you're a coward and you're laying down your life to be led into a slaughter like the sheep you are, and, you know, I, I don't do this because, like, I mean, I'm only doing this so that maybe somebody will watch my channel and say, hey, you know, he's right, you know, or whatever, or just go do some reading yourself, you know what I mean, be informed, get addicted to being informed, it's fun, you know what I mean, it's not, there's nothing grievous about this, you know, for the most part, I'm a chill guy, you know what I mean, I like to train MMA, I like to go out, I like to go on long road trips to fun spots and just have good times, man, but, if I don't do nothing about this now, then I'm going to be guilty of not in trying, you know what I mean? I have to at least try. And that's where we all are being called to do right now. And um, and I hope that, it, that, you know, that you are convicted of your righteousness too and that you stand up and that you be counted because don't listen to MTV. Don't listen to the media telling you you're inadequate, that you don't matter. Don't, don't, don't let the election fraud get you down that, you know, that... Even voting doesn't matter and this and that. They're all rumors. I've never, you know what I mean? Like all the all the garbage I've ever heard, it comes from a yuppie perspective. And it's like, you, you have no real research behind any of what you're saying. You're just a uh, defeatist, pessimistic, and I'm not going to listen to you. On Capitol Hill, Boner rejected by six to one margin in poll. House Speaker set to face vote of colleagues. Well, yeah, he already won uh, Speaker of the House. But I guess they just wanted to give him a lot of... They wanted to break his balls a little bit before he won, I guess. Because they're just like... You know, like like uh, these, these politicians, these Democrats and Republicans like to play politics like it's a football game. And they like to... They like to I mean, it's just... It's cartoon level, man. Just like, just like you've heard Alex Jones say. It is pretty cartoon level, my friend. Um, sorry if I'm moving through this news pretty quickly. Uh... Um, I'm just I'm just seeing a lot of stuff I really don't need to read, but if you want to know, just I'll give you the uh, links, and you can go look up the articles yourself. More news from today, this Thursday, January 3rd, 2013, WND Faith, WND Exclusive, Evil Gene and Sandy Hook Killer, report scientists studying DNA of gunman Adam Lanza. Adam Lanza is by far more bizarre than, uh, what, what's that guy's name, the Joker from uh, the Aurora... Uh, you know, movie theater, 
Adam Lanz is the most bizarre case I have seen, my friend. It's totally set up. There are people coming out saying that there is there there was there is no such person as Adam Lanza now, but there you're getting so many different stories like that there was a second shooter at the scene that it's like it just gets more bizarre and bizarre that you don't even know where to look. But all I need to tell you, my friend, is that it's all a false flag. Um, devil worshippers have been doing this, you know. The Aurora uh, movie theater was a devil worshiper, and so was the Sandy Hook guy. So, what does that tell you, atheists out there? You guys don't want to believe in nothing. You guys don't believe in compassion. You guys don't believe in love and none of that. So, um, or marriage or whatever it is, man. So, what do you think the, the 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 generation of the culture comes through? It's your liberal academic teachers teaching you garbage like evolutionary, um, evol um, no. Yeah, evolutionary psychology and just a bunch of liberal garbage, like Big Bang Theory garbage. You, you, could, you can have that. I'll take Jesus any day of the week, my friend. A Christian evangelist and best-selling author of dozens of books as a tip for scientists who have launched a study of the DNA of Sandy Hook killer Adam Lanza searching for an evil gene. It's already been found. These scientists can't see the forest for the trees. And this is what happens when there is a clash of two worldviews, say Ray Comfort who recently released The Beatles, God, and the Bible about the spirituality of the Fab Four along with an accompanying movie, Genius. The, pro the project exposes the theological side of the Beatles, offering unique and fascinating insight into the spirituality of the world's most famous rock band. He continued, Secular humanity says that mankind is basically good, and if someone does something evil, such as mass murder, they've gone off the rails and, there's mu and there must therefore be a reason for the moral failure. Perhaps he was bullied as a young as a youth, didn't have a father figure, lost his job, or was jilted by a girlfriend, Comfort said. When that didn't fit this profile, scientists decided to go on a ridiculous search for an evil gene so that the gene can be blamed. It was revealed in a recent report in the Daily Mail that the study of Lanza's DNA was ordered by Connecticut medical examiner H. Wayne Carver, who carried out post-mortems on the 20 children and 6 adults killed in the Sandy Hook school shooting rampage. The report said Carver has contacted genet geneticists of, at University of Connecticut to do the work. The report said geneticists said they are likely looking at Lanza's DNA to detect a, mu a mutation of abnormality that could increase the risk of aggressive or violent behavior. They could analyze Lanza's entire genome, genome in great detail and try to find an unexpected mutation. Mm, I don't know. I don't know about this one. This is some. This is some pretty uh, supernatural stuff here. But uh, by uh, by studying genetic abnormalities, we can learn more about conditions better and who is at risk and what might be dramatic treatments. Budin said in the report. But Comfort, who revealed in his genius movie that most of the 15 California young people who were interviewed admitted that they would murder for money, said the explanation isn't complicated. The Bible's worldview is radically different. It says we all have an evil gene and it's called sin. It's us, not the genes, that are to blame. If that is a bitter pill to swallow, watch the news tonight for evidence that man is basically evil, Comfort said. You will read and hear of rapes, murders... Oh yeah, the rapes. We're just looting. We're just losing our humanitarian, our humanity more and more every day. You will read and hear of rapes, murders, adultery, greed, pornography, hatred, torture, lying, stealing, blasphemy, and that's just a tiny tip of massive ice of a massive iceberg. Comfort said, "There's corruption in politics, and churches, and businesses, and sports, and every sphere of society, and all that evil starts in the human being, not in some." isolated evil gene this article goes on evil gene and sandy hook killer under the under the column of faith um he has a good point scientists want to make everything about science and that none of it derives from the knowledge that all i mean all knowledge comes from god and they try to make it something that we and and, and it just proves the bible to be right we are wicked man the man, the heart of man is a wicked thing and who could know it man and that's the truth man 
Um, that's why we practice compassion. That's why we. That's why when when somebody first hear the word of God, it doesn't sound doable. It sounds too good to be true, and it doesn't sound like it's physically doable. Like it's like it's literally something you can do, and that's because you are your body always tries to put limits on you spiritually. 